You know, people around the country are calling for our law enforcement agencies to review their policies after recent high profile cases all across the nation. Some departments say they are seeing a lack of trust between police and their communities that they serve. You know, with so much negativity surrounding police departments lately, could we see a drop in recruiting? 10 Tampa Bay reporter Liz Crawford found one police department in our area is already seeing the effects. What is the job has always been scrutinized, everything that we do. Minneapolis is 1,600 miles from St. Petersburg, but that doesn't matter. One officer does something wrong in another state, another county. Uh, all the law enforcement officers feel, feel that. Just last week, they had a cadet drop out because of the pressure and fear for his family's safety. This side, uh, this is not for him. I understand that. Uh, this is a very tough job, and it's always going to be a tough job. Is anything being addressed immediately? We just put it in place now that we're going to add a civilian on to our interview process. We never thought about that, so that's one step that we're going to take. Daisy Hogland is one of the three remaining three, cadets three, with St. Petersburg one, Police. Two, After an 18-year nursing career, she wants to trade in helping and healing for protecting and serving. I understand the pressures of what's going on, and um, I'm scared for my family as well. But I'm not going to let that deter me from fulfilling my dream. Down, up, six. Responding to a lifelong calling. You want to make a change. You want to make people feel safe. And you, you're doing it from your heart. So I would say don't back down from that. I feel I can relate to the community as a minority, as a female, as a mother. So I think, you know, that, that'll help a lot. Now, the three cadets have to pass the state exam before spending 22 weeks in the academy. All St. Pete officers then have to go through additional four weeks of training before they're out patrolling alone.